And welcome back, guys, to Poppin' Bottles, Cheddar Business's booze special that we got going on here. I'm Baker Pachado, and we have a special treat here on Poppin' Bottles. We're gonna make and try two summer cocktails, the Rock's Tequila brand Terramana. And so help me do this, I'm joined by Lynette Marrero. She's a mixologist on Masterclass. You can take all those classes there. She's also the bar director at the renowned Brooklyn restaurant, The Llama Inn, an amazing restaurant. We love The Llama Inn. <laughs> yeah. Lynette, amazing to meet you. Let's get this party started, because you know, it's 10 a.m. here on the East Coast, so we need a cocktail <laughs> very badly. So tell us about the first drink you're gonna well, make Well, I feel here. like everyone's getting ready for vacation for the holidays, yes. so I was inspired by this weekend, 4th of July, and yes. what is better than bringing you Terramana, which is for the people. Uh, so well, I'm going to start with kind of a pomegranate margarita. I'm like, I, I, I can't, you Sounds know, I, fresh. I buy into the beautiful, like I need a red drink on my yes. holiday. So I start with a, an ounce of our pomegranate juice. So uh -huh. this is just nice. It actually has a little bit of a tartness, but not in that way of like cranberry that's bitter. It's going to be a little fruit for Oh, which that's a good idea. Because so many people use cranberry instead. So this yeah. is a good one to do pomegranate. I love pomegranate. I think you could even sneak it into your cosmos, to be honest. Love like, it. Oh, I, that's I, a good idea. I switch up pomegranate. I think it's really good for you. It's, you know, it's more natural. You have some really great flavors. Um, so I just added a half ounce of agave nectar in there. Okay. Um, it just adds just a hint of sweetness for us. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fresh squeeze some um, limes in here. So okay. you want to do three quarters of an ounce, which will be about the size of one small lime. And this is where you can adjust. If you like something a little more tart, you're like, I like more lime juice, you can go ahead and add a little bit. Good That's not going to hurt the cocktail whatsoever. Okay. Now, my little secret. Okay. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Especially a secret for this. You want to add a pinch of salt. Now, oh, salt. Oh, why is that? Well, salt brings out all the flavors, all the umami. Uh -huh. uh, you know, think about when you have like just a hint of salt pops everything. Right. Um, it's also going to really bring out the beautiful flavor notes and terramana. Interesting. Uh, which are grassy, herbal, um, you know, a little citrusy. So you really want to bring that out. And this two ounces of our terramana blanco here. And by the way, this is the Rocks Tequila. <laughs> and what is. do you like about this tequila in particular? What I like about it, one, it's really versatile. So uh -huh. we're using it in two different styles of drinks today, and it's gonna go really well in both of them. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shake. Yes. Um, and also, I think it also is wonderful on the rocks on its own. Uh, you know, the Rocks te Tequila right, on the exactly. rocks <laughs> actually really works. Um, and it, it's just really refreshing, and I like the price point, honestly. If I'm gonna be making my margaritas, Ooh, it is- look at the color on I know, that. it is, that is wonderfully amazing. affordable. Um, so you get a good tequila at a good price point for making cocktails. And we were just showing our viewers, by the way, the recipe for this drink. And what I yeah. like about this is, is it has the elements of the red, white, and blue in here. 100%. So you kind of get your, your 4th of July drink right here. I was here. like, you know, why not add our little oh. flag with our blueberries? Oh, you can also gorgeous. go ahead and add, if you want more lime, and this is what I do for guests often, if I feel like I put a little less lime, just I give them the optional of the little oh, bit so of Oh, so they lead. can add more if they so they choose to. They can add to. more if they want. Everyone can make their own custom cocktail at home, and that way you give people options. I feel like this is what we're used to now is that people want to customize their cocktails. Um, our second drink we're going to make is the People's Margarita. So this Ooh, is our signature for Terramana. Uh, uh, it is a similar recipe, but uh -huh. we're just going to swap out that pomegranate juice and put in some fresh pineapple. So have you actually seen a lot more customers ordering more tequila drinks over at the Llama Inn? Is it like <laughs> usually if it's like warmer outside, people want tequila oh, more yeah. often? I mean, you see tequila is popping right now in the category. I feel like guests have um, found it, like either it ties them to some sort of wonderful uh, vacation they had or something and I feel like you know it is the people's it's the people's spirit right. so the people's margarita I, I do see the people are ordering and so you're putting pineapple juice in this yep. that's typically not in a margarita it's recipe typically not so usually it's just um, an orange liqueur or agave nectar right. lime um, and our tequila I'm putting in just one ounce of that pineapple juice give it that extra little uh, you'll see a nice frothiness on it especially in this weather it's gonna go great with barbecue and food and flavors you know you have like barbecued pineapple it is just a great flavor and now I'm doing three quarter ounce again of our lime juice we'll go ahead and do a half ounce of our and I also nectar. love like you've clearly <laughs> done these these drinks enough you know basically the measurements already you know this is every good bartender you know I say for everyone at home find a cocktail you like learn that recipe practice it until you're the expert at mm -hmm. it and then you are gonna be winning all of the holiday parties all the fun this weekend all of the great uh, get-togethers that we've missed. So mm -hmm. that's just two ounces of my Blanco tequila. And we're gonna go ahead and shake this. And I actually just rim that glass with half salt. I like 
half salt, again, optional. Yes, exactly. That's actually a smart idea because I know a lot of people that don't like the salt on the rim, so this is essentially allowing people to sort of take, exactly. you know, both angles on it. And maybe you want like one sip with salt or one sip without. So this is a way of, again, making sure that everyone can enjoy their cocktail the way they'd like it. This weekend, these are fun, delicious. Oh, my oh goodness. that again, looks just, amazing. Can you also just smell oh, that? Oh, yes. And you know, it smells like summer to me. Absolutely. So pineapple does that beautiful frothiness, so it's the enzymes that make your cocktails just look so beautiful. So if you're not into an egg white drink, but you want that kind of look, pi uh, pineapple juice is a great way to cheat it. <laughs> All right, so now I want to try these first. I want to try the margarita one first. I love a good margarita. I, I worked really hard on my margarita during the pandemic. <laughs> I and this one, by the way, a hundred billion <laughs> times better than the ones I try to make at home. Well, fresh juice is key. If you do have to get, um, you know, pasteurized uh, lime juice, I would just say cut it with some water because all of them oh, are really concentrated. Oh, such a good idea. So add uh, one part of that concentrated lime juice to one part water, but fresh is always good. And by the way, you've now got me 100% on pomegranates in my Cosmos now instead of, cr of cranberry. And mm. you're going to taste the, the little bit of nuance. It's really good oh, for you. Oh, that's so layered so well. Oh, my God, that is so amazing. Okay, Brad Smith, I know you you're at the New York Stock Exchange. I know you are furious. You can't have any of these things. I know you're upset that I have two cocktails <laughs> over here, but obviously we will make you another one and save it over here. Please, please do. My desk is literally right next to the studio, <laughs> so somebody could easily just drop so, one over there and I'll swing by. So, Brad, are you more of a margarita fan, or do you maybe like more fruity cocktails? What do you like? You know, I've been actually into, and they've grown on me a little bit over the course of the pandemic. The margaritas certainly have been, but a mezcal margarita. Oh, Ooh, mezcal, yes. Yeah. Yes, wow. yes, I'm into that, and that's easy too with you a mezcal. Always, I actually like to split base. I like will add to my tequila um, margarita, just add a little bit of smokiness on top, so maybe like a oh. half ounce, mix them together, and then you get a little hint of smoke, but not so much. You get a little balance with the tequila. Lynette, so. Lynette and I are becoming <laughs> best friends very quickly, guys. Lynette uh, Marrero, such a pleasure to have you here. She's, of course, a mixologist over a master class, guys. You can take her classes there, and also she's the bar director at the renowned Brooklyn restaurant, Llama Inn. Brad, Where's that's going to do it for this special special edition of the Business of Booze. Uh, that just means now I gotta start drinking this stuff. How did I make it sober all the way through this show? <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> all right, we gotta go, guys. More cheddar up next. Bye, guys.